guys, what do you think? Got a new haircut here. Got a uh, job interview coming up. I'm a little nervous. I get nervous with the, for those things. Uh, for engineer positions, software developer positions, holy crap, dude. These interviews are hard. I've got an uh, interview with meeting six different people. It's going to be all day thing on site. So right now I'm uh, caffeinating up. Here's what I usually do. Get uh, Grande Drip Coffee. It's the cheapest. It's got the most caffeine in it. And then uh, Rockstar Pina Colada. And uh, this is my combo to get me going. This is probably going to be the death of me. I was watching Jamie's channel, uh, Ignat. I can't pronounce that. Ignat. 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 It really struck a chord with me. I really love this guy's build out. His name is Lee. He mentions in his video that he will be, uh, he's setting up a website um, and that he'll be meeting up with people to help them with their builds and whatnot. And so I reached out to him. He had, uh, his channel link was down below and then uh, the about me contact page had an email address. So I emailed him and uh, the conversation went kind of, uh, oops, kind of like this. Hi Lee, I was so happy to see your face show up on the YouTube again. I remember seeing your first van update last year on Egmatic Nomadic's channel. I'm just another fan uh, of your work and really would love to... He was uh, going to be heading out on a trip pretty soon, so he's still in town. He's in the Bay Area. I'm out here too, so he's pretty close by. I thought, man, I just want to talk to this guy and uh, talk vans and maybe I can help him and he can help me. My whole idea going into this situation was like, I'm going to help this guy out. Just give, give, give as much as I can, you know, because this guy, I know that he's got a good energy to him. He can bring that back to me. So and help me with some of the problems I'm having with my solar panels. Um, he mentioned in his video that, you know, he's willing to help people. He's not in the market of doing like full van builds, but he'll definitely help people with their problems. And I'm experiencing, experiencing this problem these solar panels they're like about to go out man so uh they're actually the output from the solar panels like really low and i think it's probably just damaged but um yeah he's got a background in electrical engineering so i thought like that would be really cool to get his opinion on it and and in exchange what i really wanted to do was um he mentioned in a video that he had been working on uh getting all his videos up on a website um and when i emailed him off the contact uh email that was on his youtube I saw there was a domain name there, guide, guiding in or whatever he calls it, and uh, went to the website. It doesn't come up. So I was wondering, like, how long has this guy had this domain and just been sitting on it? So I did a Whois record. Uh, it's a pretty common thing in my industry uh, just to find out when he purchased the domain. And I saw that uh, he had purchased it a while back, and he forgot to, or I don't know why, he didn't enable the who is privacy on there. So he's got all his personal information on there. Anyways, I had uh, been emailing him. We had uh, like four different emails that were pretty interesting. Uh, I just proposed some interesting business ideas that I had and um, wanted to get his opinion on that. And basically I wanted to let him know that I can help him either with you know, I can do like interviews, uh, which I've done before. I can, uh, you know, do some camera work. I can do editing. I could set up a website for him with all the videos. Just anything I can do to help out, you know. So uh, we had a few emails going back and forth, and it really came down to I was going to meet him this Wednesday, and I was just asking for a time. So I asked, or like we already set up the time, and I asked him, so hey, where where can I meet you? And then um, this Wednesday, and I said, oh, by the way, you know, you're who is information is showing on the internet and my intention was not like to creep him out but more as maybe my i had bad timing i'm terrible with people man but uh my intention was to say like hey man you probably don't want to be putting this private information out on the internet because it was really like revealing like it it was his whole address and then um a domain to another his like work account like he has i guess a from when he was in the industry, in his industry working, had like a work uh, blog. And I'm sure he doesn't want all that stuff out there in this Van Dweller community. So uh, yeah, he all he needs to do is go into where he purchased his uh, domain name and then turn on the who is privacy or privacy guard or whatever it is. All the domain providers, domain name providers have something like that in there. Anyways, I just wanted, my intention was to help him out, but he took it the wrong way and he said, just one, one line reply it was like oh okay that's not creepy how about you uh how about we don't meet and you never contact me again and i was just like whoa really and then i responded back just letting them know like hey this is my industry that's why 
you know, I, I, I'm not like, some, I'm not creeping on you or anything, but I mean, we are in a day and age before you meet someone online, you Google them, you know, this is like nothing new. Um, so maybe it is to him. I know he's like in his seventies, maybe, you know, he's just not with technology anymore. I don't know. He just doesn't know that. I don't know. Anyway, I really wanted to help him out, but this ended up really bumming me out. Um, this is not the first time. Uh, and I just wonder, is it is it me or is it like the people that are doing the Vangeline thing? They're pretty out there people for the most part. They kind of um, maybe a little bit eccentric. I don't know. I, I've met all sorts of different people. But anyway, it's just sometimes like the rejection, you know, it just kind of it just gets to you. And it's like, is it even worth like befriending people, you know, because I don't know, maybe I take that harder than most people. But it uh it just kind of sucks because i i mean my intentions are good but i don't know man maybe the just the way that i uh i interface with people i, I don't know man i'm just not good at it so anyway that's my kind of like bummer story uh but uh who cares dude I, i'm not gonna let it get me down so i'll just keep doing what i'm doing all right guys that's my update i don't know what's going on with my solar panel um it's busted so um I will never buy those thin, uh, bendable solar panels again. I do my video editing on with uh, Final Cut Pro on this little Mac here, but this thing's getting dated. It's uh, from 2014, I believe, and uh, the interface is just getting really heavy. So I've got this little uh, i7 here. Uh, this is my current desktop. This is a Z Zotac, I guess, and this is uh, the only i7 they made, um, but it's really, really tiny, man. Look how big my hand is compared to this thing. It's a really uh, mini PC, and uh, but it's really it's just got as much power as a gaming uh, PC. Um, so I don't know what kind of video card, but I don't do much gaming on there. It's really just for video editing, is what I was hoping to do here. So, uh, but when you move to Windows, you don't have Final Cut Pro. So um, I found I'm looking for an alternative, and I don't want to get into the um, subscription-based movie editors. So I found uh, two different ones, and this one's called HitFilm 4 Express. Uh, seems to do everything I need, so I'm going to give that a shot. And then the other app that I have is called Lightworks uh, Express, I think. I don't know, whatever. Um, this is another movie editor. Uh, it's free, but the limitation is it only outputs the 720p, and then you got to buy the pro version. So that might make it so I don't even try it at all. 720 is kind of low these days. Here's my new desk setup. Um, so I took out the uh, table and chairs, that, the dinette that is included when, when I bought the uh, RV, sold that on Craigslist for really cheap, like 50 bucks for everything. That was incredible price. That guy got such a deal, but it moved fast. And that's what I needed because I didn't have any place to store uh, the table and then two, I think it was four chairs. I gave him four chairs for like 50 bucks. What a steal. And uh, anyway, and then I got this thing for about the same price, this desk right here. Um, it's, it's sort of like an Ikea desk, but I love that it'll give me the space in here. And um, I also, uh, for I'm going to put a computer in there probably. And you can see I've already like routed wires under here. I, I got that thing from Ikea to put all the, uh, to hide all the wires and stuff. That, that's pretty awesome. That was like 12 bucks. A pretty nice little setup here. Much better than the dinette uh, table and chairs. I guess my new thing is like small PCs. I got this Zobox Nano, and I'm looking to put in um, a firewall in here. Uh, what's it called? Uh, here it is. It's called PF Sense. It's an open source uh, firewall, and you hook it right uh, between your router and cable modem. And uh, anyway, it'll allow you to secure your network a little bit more, find out what traffic is being sent in the background. So yeah, we've got uh, small PCs everywhere. We've got the uh, Zotac i7 we got the zbox uh nanos by zotac and this is i think it's an atom processor then we even got a raspberry pi right here uh this is the raspberry pi 2 uh this is just kind of like a side project haven't really done anything with it what i plan to do though i'd really like to automate um all these switches in here we got the year of the rv before they put in like an automated uh command center in here that has like a anyway i'm kind of glad that i didn't get that because it kind of locks you into their software but uh with this um i'm thinking about undoing these screws here and then expose all these wires and i got a little wire all these into a relay board that'll hook into the raspberry pi and then i can put like a uh, web server on there of some sort to be able to manually uh change these switches or put them on a schedule 
And here's another thing too. I love the, I, man, I got into LED lights, motion activated LED lights that run on um, rechargeable batteries. And that's, it was kind of like a little fetish of mine for a while. Like I, I ordered every single one that I saw on the internet. And this one is like one of my favorites right here. Um, if you guys want a link, maybe ask for it and I'll put it in the description. So I've just got a ton of, um, <laughs> there's another LED light. There's a, there's a different style right here. Um, I've seen this recommended on a few channels, but yeah, these are uh, pretty reliable. And then of course they need uh, rechargeable batteries. So um, these Panasonic uh, Antelope, um, these are like these patented ones that are just nothing even compares. I even got these Amazon version of them, the Amazon Basics version of these batteries. And I don't think they're as good. I pay a little bit more for these. So. Uh, they're not cheap, but once you have them, like they last 2,000 cycles or something like that. And I just got this like Sun Labs um, smart uh, battery charger, so um, that will make uh, that'll ensure that these um, don't I don't prematurely um, kill the batteries, I guess, from overcharging. So I'm pretty happy about that little purchase. The park that I'm in does not allow. Um, us to run our air conditioner it's rated at 50 or sorry it's only 30 amps in the park so our air conditioner can't uh, run on that um, our front one in the in the back bedroom does but uh, it's I don't know it's just a lot of juice to be running those things so what you're looking at here is a um, evaporative air cooler by Honeywell I picked this up on um, like so this evaporative cooler, I picked it up on OfferUp.com. There's a little app for your phone. It's kind of a replacement for Craigslist, and it's worked out pretty well for me. Um, you can even do payments through it, which is kind of cool. But back to this evaporative cooler, this thing's awesome. It uses a fraction of uh, electricity because all essentially it is is just a water pump and a fan. So there's a big reservoir of water. I just fill this up. I put it right next to the sink with the, the little uh, retracting uh, nozzle that the sink has. And then I just like shoot the water down in here and then I fill it up and it's like five gallons or something. It's a lot of water. But uh, when you turn it on, basically the water just, there's a water pump that comes down here and the water flows down here. There's a fan in there that sucks air through right through this. Uh, there's a little pad right there, an evaporative cooler fan. I just open up these windows in the corner, and it creates a nice cross breeze. And I also turn on this fan right here, and that helps uh, create a nice airflow. But let me show you what it sounds like. It can be pretty noisy. Um, so right there is just the fan. puts out a good amount of air, but then turn on the cooling function. I don't know if you can hear that but you can definitely see it. There's actually water flowing right through there. Yeah, and that does a pretty good uh, job of cooling it in here, about 10 degrees. And it's all in this climate, it, this does not work for every climate. It only works for uh, drier, less humid climates. I'm in the Bay Area, so it works perfectly out here. And uh, yeah, just so happy that I bought this. $70, I feel like that was a real bargain. I think these are normally like $350. But that's Craigslist or offer up for you. Um, and I've been saving a bundle on not just the cooling, but also the heating costs. I've been using the Mr. Buddy just like I had been doing when I was in my last RV. Works great, man. Um, our bills were uh, halved or even like down to one third of what they were. Haha. <laughs> So I just put that blanket over there to cover it because it's kind of unsightly. And this hose is kind of in the way. I might move the five gallon propane tank to like over here in the corner. But, uh, but yeah, this thing does just an awesome job of cooling this place, or excuse me, heating it. And um, it does a great job as long as you open up uh, like this, this fan right here. I don't even turn the fan on. I just open the enclosure. It just saves a ton of money compared to something like this electric heater, which basically doesn't even heat this entire place up. It just puts out a nice uh, bit of hot air out here in this area, but it doesn't uh, really get to the back area where the bedroom is. This thing does. The heat actually, you know, it rises and it just puts out enough BTUs that um, it actually does go into the back bedroom. So we'll keep this running in the evening. And then when it's time to go back to bed, it's nice and warm in the back bedroom. And then here's some of the stupid stuff that I buy with my money. Uh, this is a electronic candle, LED based candle. And it looks dang real. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it will um, 
turn on at the same time every night and then stay on for like an hour or four hours or up to eight hours or whatever and you get just if i keep it on uh non-stop with the three double a batteries in there this thing goes for two to three days another thing i've been doing lately we got this uh digital monopoly and it comes with this uh this little thing so there's no money it's all atm debit kind of cards and uh, i don't know I, I think i like the original monopoly better but Tiffany and I, um, sometimes we enjoy just playing an old board game. Um, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I tried to get her into Borderlands 2. I've got the Xbox 360 edition, and um, I love the game. I'm completely addicted to it, but uh, it's not really her cup of tea. So um, she's just not into these. Like, It's just too many controls for her. I, I think when she gets it, she'll get more used to it, and, and it'll be more fun. But maybe it's just the genre game. She's just not into like the action shooters. But for me, I freaking love these things, man. I have spent so many hours, like, what a good way to spend, um, I don't know, what did we get this for, like, 35 bucks? Like, this, uh, the amount of entertainment I've got out of this thing is insane. I'm, I've made it, I beat it twice now. <laughs> so, um, there's, like, an ultimate vault hunter mode, and then you can buy expansion packs for it. So, um, if you haven't played this one, uh, I know it's kind of funny, too, because uh, there's another uh, vlogger in the area. His name is uh, Will Prowse, and uh, he says that he plays this, this game a lot himself, and dude, it's so, so fun. That's it. I hope you liked this video. This video was brought to you by Caffeinated Nick uh, drinking Rockstar Pina Colada. So um, I did get a couple messages like, hey, where you been? When are you going to do your next video? Don't really have any content right now, so I thought I would just take you guys around and just talk about some things that are going on. There's a lot more I could probably say, but um, I just I'm out there. I'm watching a lot of videos, Van Dweller videos, and uh, really wish I could be doing another trip right now, and uh, hopefully I will in the future. And uh, just thanks for making all these videos, guys. Uh, they're really, really entertaining for me. Uh, just keep doing what you're doing, and hopefully I'll be doing the same thing in the future. All right, take care, guys.